Hello, people of the internet. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy Friday to you all. I am back from vacation. Had three days off, went and enjoyed a little bit of nature, some scenery, lots of hiking, feeling recharged, feeling refreshed, and we are back. Missed out on quite a good number of songs and music and albums and things like that, so we're going to slowly whittle our way through the list. This one from today, uh, this technically dropped, I think, how many days ago? Two days ago? Yeah, two days ago. Um, we're back with some Triple S action, uh, specifically with the Crystallized subunit and their re remake uh, slash remix version of their B-side Touch with Touch Plus, uh, featuring a certain uh, Miss... Pak So Hyun, uh, Miss S14 herself, uh, the same Pak So Hyun respond er, on uh, songwriting credits for their B side Deja Vu, which I very much enjoyed. And I'm still very much trying to learn through all the members of Triple S. It's been a long, long road ahead, and it's been a long road to this point, and there's still very much a long way to go. Um, Luckily for me, Ju and Soyeon are on Queendom Puzzle, and both of them happen to be in this unit, which makes learning a little bit easier for me, because I can actually kind of identify two members now, and then, well, including Soyeon, that'll be three. Ahem, but ultimately, this Touch Plus version, I have no idea what they've done differently. I have not heard any teasers about it. I've only seen pictures... Or like MV screenshots of Soyeon being like scattered around here and there through the MV. But apart from that, I don't know anything. So I'm very excited. How different is it going to be from the original? Is it the original just with Soyeon and the MV? I don't know. Let's find out. Apologies if I kind of run out of words or like take a while to think of what I'm trying to say. Um... I'm recording eight MV reactions today, and uh, my brain is very much not used to talking this much. I spent kind of like three days on my own hiking through the Scot Scottish Highlands, which in itself was very much a good time. It also meant I spoke like 25% of the words that I usually do on a daily basis, so I'm just trying to get back into the flow of things. But Crystal Eyes Touch Plus. Here we go. So far, so far, not major. Gosh, I forgot how smooth that song was. Kind of the entire Crystallized album was really smooth, wasn't it? It's like... It's got this kind of retro hip-hop type feel to it. I saw him. It is such an easy song to listen to. It's so gentle on the ears, if that makes sense. Very different vocal colors from everyone, even though I only know two of them by name. One day I will get it. The way this chorus releases is so nice. It's, give, it's giving me similar sensations to what I got from like... Lovelies, Oh My Girl. It's like the old, old, third gen, like, that type of music. Breakdown? 
That's a switch. Also, hello, Sohyun. Oh, what an interesting way to bring her in for the bridge. It's amazing how different her voice is from everyone else. What a shine, Ju. What a shine. Yeah, it is such an easy song to listen to. Oh, it's genuinely like crystallized in general. The music they've put out has been some of the easiest songs to talk about and some of the easiest songs to just listen to on an everyday basis because it's so straightforward. They don't hide anything like they. It's music that very much is easy to understand. And is easy. There's not a whole lot of hidden stuff. They don't cram in a whole bunch of stuff. They just let the music kind of flow. And that's what I love about crystallized music. Oh! I like it, though. I like it. I'm also really appreciating the fact that I can, like... Like, watching the MV now and hearing their voices. That at least for two members... I can start to look, kind of like understand nuances of their voices with like Ju and her high tones with Soyeon and her a little bit lower kind of has a mellower tone about her. Very nice, especially in the whole crystal eyes setup. They have two, like four very different voices, but Ju and Soyeon for me have voices that complement each other really well, but also have the kind of voices where you know how in some groups, like, some members are just destined to sing certain parts of the songs? So, like, with with Twice, you know, you have Mina, who is, like, resident queen of bridges and pre-choruses with her smooth, kind of lower tone. Or at certain points, like, From Us Nine's Jihon, with her lower tone, very much bridge queen in certain songs. And it's like... Having Ju like fl flow in her kind of delicate but also clean high tone, and then have her on and like vocal ad libs in the background, like the choruses, and have her on the high notes for the final chorus. And having Soyeon kind of lead in with her lower tone, and kind of have her be like the setup voice for the rest of the members. I think is such a cool touch. But let's talk about Soyeon's verse one time. Um. Holy moly, the style was not what I was expecting. It's... With Soyeon, ever since she got announced and we saw, like, uh, daily signals of her, like, involved, I think as a f collective, we all knew that she was going to be the one with the... Really low voice. Oh, it kind of reminds me of Heejin in a sense. Remember when, even though maybe Heejin's like vivid wasn't the lowest song in the world. When whenever you heard her like talk on, like Lunalogs and stuff like that, you the first thing you immediately clock is her low voice. But when it comes to like actually singing stuff, I feel like we've heard barely anything. So hearing her jump on with crystallize who in general kind of have a very high tone, her jumping in the middle with that style switch and with her low tone is such like a culture shock for me because it's so stylistically different. And if it's, this is like the way of introducing a new member, I'm kind of not mad at it because having her style be so different from Crystal Eyes is like general tone quality. That's going to get your attention, isn't it? Especially the beat switch too. And then we're back into the sparkly happy brightness. Wow. 
And kind of hearing Soyeon fit in on the song like this makes me wonder how they're gonna utilize her voice in upcoming projects. Like there's what Evolution and Loveolution coming up pretty soon. Um, apart from that, I don't know if so like what Mod House's plans are for other subunits. Because of course they have AAA, Acid Angels from Asia. They've got crystallized they're gonna have love evolution and evolution but even with what all 14 members that have been announced so far Sohyun's voice is the outlier i think that's safe to say that her voice is the outlier within the rest of the group lineup in that it is so low and so different it almost to me sounds like what a voice what the artist's voice would sound like if you combine Koan and Heejin's voices together. I don't know why. Mm. Soyeon's gonna be interesting to follow. I, as, ever since I found out that she was going to be kind of like the in-house producer member of Triple S, she'd already had my attention. Like, even though I might not bias them in every single group, I have a tremendous amount of respect for like composers, arrangers, and producers within their own group. So, you know, people like Idol Soyeon, um, Hongju of 80s, Three Racha from Stray Kids, and... Why do I always blank on these? So, 17's Wuji, and... I, every time I talk about in-house producers or like in-group producers, I always forget the list. But it's so cool that Modhouse is hopefully going to, I mean, she got involved with the unit that she's not even involved in. So I'm really hoping that Sohyun gets involved with more production stuff behind the scenes because that would be so cool. And I really hope Modhouse let her do it, but this was really cool. I'm glad we got to get a little bit of Soyeon involved. I'm glad that Touch got an MV for her. And it just kind of reminded me again just how much I like listening to crystallized music. Because it does take me back to a place kind of similar to old G-Friend, old Oh My Girl, old Lovelies. You know, that kind of like symphonic, what they I guess call like Christian horse scroll music. Even though like the instrumentals aren't the same, the sensation I get from listening to crystallized music has the same feeling to it. And it's a type of feeling that I don't get in music a lot these days, so very much appreciative of them. But that is it for me today. Thank you all for watching along with me. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. One last request from me today. Let us work together as a community to bring a little bit of extra happiness back into the world, whether it be checking in with your friends and family, holding the door open for somebody, even picking up a piece of trash off the street. Just one small act of kindness that may brighten up someone else's day to day. And know that wherever you are in the world, should you ever be going through a tough time in your life for whatever reason it may be, even though I'm just some guy on the internet who waffles about music in his free time, know that I will always be a friend, an ally, and show with Leon whenever you need me. So, oh, I did that with the wrong hand. Never mind. Okay, hold on. Gather my thoughts together. So take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Spread the love, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ooh, I have not scuffed up an outro that badly in a hot minute. Oof.